I went in to tackle the running back. Someone did hit me. I just left him. I just injured. Actually, running off the jump and realized it wasn't going to be. Throwing like head first into the shower room. No sé, tres o cinco minutos. Three or four days later, wake up in intensive care. I can remember uh, laying in the hospital bed, you know, wondering if another minute was going to pass, if another minute was going to pass. When a patient's injured, it changes that patient's life forever. And it changes anyone who cares about that patient. It's a whole new identity. It's a whole new identity. My oldest daughter, she was like, Mom, you're not the same mom, you know? Where's the smile, you know? Where's the real smile? You know, people look at it as, Keiston can't walk, I'm sorry for that. But they don't think about how, how I get something to drink, how I get up and down stairs, where I sleep, how I use the bathroom, how I take showers, how I get from here to there. They don't think about it, the complexities that go with not being able to walk. It's so important to work with that patient as quickly as possible and through that first year because that is the most uh, progressive opportunity for that patient and the family. So the bridge program was developed to reduce that anxiety for patients, for families, for community members, and to be the safety net. So when patients got home, the things that they forgot to ask, the things that they forgot to do, they could call us up and we're just a phone call away. I feel like the role of the bridge program is to pick them up on the day they leave this hospital and take them back out into their own community. They helped us in every way of support. Um, just being there if you needed someone to talk to. Me estuvieron ayudando a buscar a donde vivir y también me ayudaron a a buscar uh, algunas terapias o algo que me sirviera. I know if I have my patient in Marcus Bridge, I just have to make one phone call. And for us in this program, it is exposure. It's just get out there, be comfortable within your new skin. And so we use the techniques of getting them back to school or getting them back to training, join a group, join peer support, and go out and get involved in the therapeutic recreation or leisure stuff. They want to push you to see who you are, um, what your goals are going to be. So the way they make it difficult is they have a protocol that they have set, but they, you know, they push those limits on an individual basis because they see the person and, and realize what their uh, capabilities are. Other goals were to get back involved in school and, and you know, and finding out what vocational rehab could, could help me do. and just basically getting, getting my life back, you know, started and making, making the best of what I had. I think that cost is a very driving force in the industry. Everybody wants to deliver cost-effective case management. They want to provide also um, very exceptional case management. So this enables a case manager to do both things upfront um, allocation of money for a good outcome is so important. I mean, it goes back to the ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And so if you can prevent those complications, if you can build that self-esteem, if you can prevent the entitlement mentality and make somebody believe in themselves again, develop that self-confidence, and produce a, a happy human being, I mean, what is that all about? That's what life is all about. That's what I love so much about Shepherd because they give you so many things to, to look at, so many more options that the world tries to make you feel like you don't have. But you do. And you just gotta find it, you gotta seek it, you know? There was always somebody to answer me and somebody to give me the right uh, guidance. Anytime that you need something done, well, they're, they're gonna try to help you do it. So they really, you know, and, and know how to handle everything and, and know exactly what to do. 
It's always just nice to have a team player with me. It's like having a personal assistant is what it's like. Todo uh, una, un equipo de, de trabajo muy, uh, muy bueno que le ayudan a uno excelente. I do feel good now. I do feel like I'm getting some of my independence back. Without a doubt, probably the biggest um, influence in my life getting back into the community was the bridge program. Without them, I wouldn't have known what to do, honestly. <laughs>